So to start with, we need to remember that slope, otherwise known as a gradient, we've kind of defined as rise over run. Okay, that's just the accepted way to measure it, and we can think of this as change in y change in x. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at a particular case of we've got x here, y here. We're going to look at this function y is equal to x squared. Now I've included the function notation because this is going to be a really, really useful tool to look at all of this. And we're going to look at the general point P given by x coordinates. Okay? X coordinates just x, so we're looking at as general as possible, and a y coordinate is just what happens when we feed our input into our function. In this case, so for example, if x was 1, we'd have 1. If x was 5, we'd have 25. Okay. But we want to keep this as general as possible. So imagine we're going to zoom in on this part here. So we've got our slight curve. Here's our point P, given by x, f of x. And we want to find the slope of this point here. So we imagine a, we imagine a tangent at this point. Okay. And we want to find the slope of this one. And the way we go about it, and it's quite clever, is that we choose another point, and we call this Q. And we say that Q is, that's going to be horizontal. Okay. And let's say that we move a certain distance along the x-axis. And what happens as we move along the x-axis, imagine our point's sort of moving up here, up our path, and then it ends up here. So a new x-coordinate is x plus delta x, because remember we're starting here at x. We've moved this much delta x along, okay, and then we need to work out how far do we go up. So a new y-coordinate is just going to be this input into our function. So f of x plus delta x not x plus. Okay, so we can imagine our y axis over here. Okay, this point here on our y axis has y coordinate f of x. And we imagine it would be. Okay, and this point here on our y axis has y coordinate f of x plus change in x. And we're interested in this gap. How far is it from here to here? And that's just going to be that number, take away this number. So this whole thing, take away this whole thing. So our change in y is f of x plus delta x minus f of x. In this particular case, because our function is uh, Remember, our function in this case is in particular is f of x equals x squared. So this, this is our particular case. In this case, our change in y is going to be x plus delta x squared minus x squared. But we'll get to that. So we've got an expression for our change in y, then it's our change in x. We just then need to look at change in y and a change in x and that's given by this one here. Now at the moment this is really, really uh, general. We haven't even put our function in yet. Now the trick though, I mean this is not going to be exactly our slope. The trick is we're going to let this thing approach zero. And you can imagine that 
This is as we let this gap shrink, a little triangle shrinks with it. Put down your pin, and as it shrinks, can you imagine our slope? Our first slope looks like this. It's from here to here. That's our first slope. And our next slope looks like that. Next slope's like that. And you notice it's getting closer and closer to this tangent slope that we want. So if we let this approach zero, we're going to get a really good uh, reasonable answer for the slope at that point. So, we shot that fellow there, but we actually want to let this delta x approach zero. So we've got kind of new, new notation. When we change it to that, we've got dy dx. Now this is when we let this limit happen. So imagine this is like a little change, little change, okay? And this is like an infinitely small change because we're shrinking this down. So this in here now looks like that still. Okay, but remember our case is f of x equals x squared. So let's put that in. So now we put that in. We've got our slope. Let's put in by limit. Okay. So as we put in, put in that to here and square it, because that's what we do, and we pin that to here. issue here is going to be that we do not have a way to divide by zero, but instead we let the limit, we look at the limit as this thing approaches zero. So to do that, we're then going to have to do a little bit of algebraic trickery. Oh, not that tricky. Okay, now this is just approaching zero, so we can effectively just cancel that out. This is going to disappear, so we have 2x. Now, a few things worth noting. What we did is we started off with some kind of function, and it was called x squared. What we did is we found called slope function it was 2x okay this is also known as well you saw this one it's also known as this it's also often called the gradient function and perhaps most commonly known as the derivative. And the whole process is called differentiation. So that process is called differentiation. And leading 